On the mound for your Friars is Nick Martinez. 32 year old right hander making his fourth start. He really has to limit the long ball. In 17 and two thirds innings pitch this year, he has surrendered four home runs. Last time out, a quality start against the Brewers. Six solid innings. He only struck out two, but hey, keep the ball in the yard and on the ground, and Nick should do just fine. Game three of three against the Padres Braves about to start downtown San Diego. Stepping up to the plate for the Braves, Ronald Acuna Jr. And the other direction, softly hit, but it works all the same. Ronald Acuna with a leadoff single. So much has been made of the exit velocity of this team, and Ronnie just shows what else makes him a good hitter. He doesn't need to hit it hard. He just needs to find a spot. That approach is going to get him a long way this year. Ronald breaks for second, and Ronald swipes second base. That is now eight stolen bases for Ronald Acuna Jr. already, and he's in scoring position. As soon as that foot was lifted, it wasn't particularly slow to the plate, but he just outrun the baseball there. And on the ground down to third, Machado will go to second, and they got this lead runner hung up in Acuna. And we'll see if they can execute out there, and now firing to first. It's going to be a double play. Austin Riley with a bad base running move there works out great for the Friars. Charlie Morton's been making progress this year. He's mixing in his pitches. He's been really good with that curveball, especially against Kansas City. Up the middle into center field, a base hit for Manny Machado. Manny does a good job of fighting this one off. It's a changeup that is and look at him get the hands in nice level swing that bat through the hitting zone for a long long time finds the hole up the middle and tapping it right back to Charlie Morton so a single by Machado but nothing else for the Padres on we go to the second bottom of the second inning Matt Carpenter will lead it off and Charlie's 2 2 got him there's the first strike out of the afternoon for Charlie Morton get everybody thinking soft oh, excuse me I can also throw 96. There he got him. Cronenworth chased it. Beautiful pitch. Two away. It's early on, but Charlie looks really good at the moment. Runner breaks for second. Murphy gunned him out. Sean Murphy with that cannon. And Hassan Kim is retired. And the Padres are retired in the bottom of the second. Vaughn Grissom. Vaughn has two hits in the series. Fly ball. Center field. Back goes Grissom. Onto the warning track to make the catch deepest part of the yard. Just the wrong spot for Grissom, who drives that one deep and far, but stays in the yard for out number one. Grissom to Grisham in center. Oh, and he makes it look so easy. 3 0. Walk loads him up. And now the 3 1 offering that bounces nowhere near. And all the Braves outfielders are on board. So it's up to Austin Riley. Swing and a foul tip into the catcher's mitt for strike three. Big strikeout for Nick Martinez, his second. Braves will leave him loaded thanks to Nick Martinez's strikeout. Juan Soto will lead off in the bottom of the fourth inning, scoreless game. A single in the sixth inning. High drive, deep right field for Soto. It is back, and that ball is gone. Very gone. Second time this year he's gotten Charlie Morton on a long home run. Big boy blast for Juan Soto. You don't see very many go balls go in that area. Fastball, middle, middle, and Juan Soto unloaded. And the Padres have their first lead since Saturday. Rip to right, and that is going to get down and roll to the corner. Bogarts running the bases will be stopped at third on the double for Jake Cronenworth. Padres have him at second and third with one away. Soto hits the home run on the fastball. Jake gets a fastball. Once again, up, elevated. Out to center, and Charlie Morton is going to get out of it. Hilliard over. He squeezes just the one run on the Soto solo homer. Swing and a miss, and he comes back to strike out Hilliard. That was the fastball. With strikeout for Nick Martinez. On the ground, and Machado's got it. He spins and fires and gets him. Manny Machado at third base with another stellar defensive play. He just got Manny. Well, now one on for Manny Machado. Out to right center, pretty well struck. Hilliard reaches up. He's got it. 
He robbed a homer from Manny Machado. Sensational grab out in center field. Man, I tell you, that was shades of Adam Jones in the WBC. Right off the top of the glove and into the webbing. He's locked up for six more years. Swing and a miss, and Olsen strikes out. That's five Ks for Nick Martinez. Good sign for Nick going the fastball upstairs out of the zone the third time around to Matt Olsen. Elevates and strikes out Austin Riley. Back to back K's for Nick Martinez, six at all. And again, it is done with the fastball, the four seamer up and out of the zone. Tough to lay off. Stay in that groove. Slowly rolled towards third. Machado charging. Bare hands and throws. You're out. Manny again at do or die play, and he does. You got Manny again. There's more where that came from. He's going again. And he's got a third stolen base on the season. And the Braves have the tying run in scoring position. Real nice job from Sam. Getting a perfect pitch to run on. Timed it beautifully. Ball in the dirt. Pretty good pick from Nola to even get the throw off. Three for eight against Tim Hill is Matt Olson. And a ground ball picked on the backhand by Cronenworth. Hill's got to get over. No, he doesn't. Cronenworth's going to take it himself to end the inning. Tim Hill getting the job done. And Jake Cronenworth, the play at first. You can hit it anywhere, but you cannot hit it to the crown zone. One to nothing. Enter left hander closer Josh Hader enters his eighth game. Four for four. And save opportunities. 3 2 pitch. He missed. And the tying run trots down to first base. Popped up. Left side. Machado steps onto the infield grass. Padres win. What a way to finish the homestand. They shut out the Atlanta Braves and get the final game of the three game series.